business with just five, six, maybe seven minutes of my fascia stuff, just to prep our bonds. So as usual, we need them, so we're gonna start with the glutes and just work our way around the body like that. I mean, if you're watching this and you're new to these kind of releases, please, you know, pause it, spend a little bit longer on it. Ideally, I'd say 20, 30 minutes probably wouldn't be overdoing it. But all you regulars watching, do this on your own. Let hoist the leg up if you can get that. Just try and grind in some of those tight areas. So, we're using one or two weights tonight. Um, nothing outside the ordinary, although there's a couple of toughies in there, as always. I switch into the glute. All dressed in red tonight. Got my red body fit t-shirt on under here. Hey, check that out. This old thing. Red towel as well. Red shoes. You know, I'm colorblind as you wouldn't believe it. Baldy in red. Showing kettlebells to me. Sorry, this is the quiet time you're looking at the screen again. <laughs> Things could be said, but don't make a lot of sense. All there. Hope you're all keeping well. A good weekend. Moving around lots. Okay, I had a long drive last night, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drift this into the QL. So I'm just gonna move myself down a little bit, get that lower back. Although it feels okay. Not perhaps know what it used to feel like. Yeah, for sitting for six hours. Oh, should we get a bit of blood flow that? I hope you can't hear that upstairs, that bang bang racket. You probably can't have the mics on. Disgusting! And I can't have any music! Because you probably can't hear me if I did it. Right, switch sides. I guess you're doing this for your own benefit and a little bit of me as well. <laughs> Ooh, feels kind of nice. So just keep it away from the boards around there, obviously. Okay. Oh, I can stay there. I've already done that today. So drift this into the lats now, guys. So bring it higher up. If you're watching this and you don't have the, the med ball, then a four roll would be, would be okay, I guess. So in our upper back muscle, that wing, keep it away from the ribs and apply some strategic mindful moves on there. Or not at all, just hold if you're on something. Arm is outstretched, so giving the lat a little bit of length potential. And if you want to take it a step further like I do, so I feel really brave, I'm going to press it in my bottom there, my bend leg, that bit in the hip. Lays down a lot more weight. And then some slow movement there. We'll be doing some arms overhead work, so it's nice to have a little bit of work in the lats, right? So it's that to this side, we'll do a bit of quads after this. I appreciate, as I always say, it's 45 minutes, so we'll lessen the myofascial stuff. I hate to say that, to be fair. Oh, there. And like me, you'll probably notice a big difference left and right. It's a massive difference there. I'm not even going to lift up my head with this one. Too much. Oh yeah, yeah. Long drive back yesterday from Morecambe, so it was yeah, it was probably about six and a half hours sitting and driving, I'm trying to listen to Kel while I'm driving, which is tough at best of times, let alone when you're driving. <laughs> it's a good excuse for forgetting everything though when she when she asked me about it. I was driving a little bit longer on our second side. Thousands of Okay, a little bit of hips and quads just to finish. Done this enough now. I know those of you watching live have done this enough, so let's spend a good 15 seconds high up first. And really stretching out that leg and then letting it relax and fall flat. Just below the hip bone. Okay, drifting it. Getting in the mid part of the quad now. And I suggest you all hit that, that anterior 45 line. So bring the body off center. The side you're on, you're on the elbow. So I've got about 45 degree angle of the hips. So I'm neither on the side or down the middle of my thigh. I'm on that 45 degree angle. And after 10, 15 seconds, move it down a little bit. 
Relax the leg a little bit. And as always, guys, just look at your form with these tonight. Um, in regards to how many reps we do, you know, if I finish and I'm talking and you've got a couple left, then please do. But try and keep it as airtight as possible and with good form as always. So don't worry too much of how many you do. That's how we're doing, right? Always like that. Get a little bit longer. So just right near the knee now on that 45 line. We've got some lunges. If I've got some lunge jumps tonight, okay? Where we're going to start from the ground up and we're going to jump up, literally switch legs to the top and then control it back down slowly. So some of these are going to be some good, okay, switch sides. Some good eccentric loading on and down first. Going to slow it down, get the muscles to bite. I'm going to start for the Turkish girl. We're going to do the full thing. Yay! So there's seven exercises, right? Just seven. So again, drifting away from the hip, upper quads, 45 angle. Don't necessarily move, just let the leg relax. And just be at one with your pain. Albeit it's a pain that's going to give you several advantages. He says, trying to deal with the pain. Okay, if it feels different, a little bit sticky on the other leg, guys like myself, just, just I'm not going to bring it down so quickly, so just got to listen, use your intuition. Oh, like there's a house pie going on up there. Okay, bit by bit now, if you don't feel much on certain places, just, just, just ignore it. Get towards that knee. A bit more hastily than I'd like. Okay, right. I'm going to leave the hamstring stretch just for time. If you're watching this in the bottle and you want to pause it and go to the wall with the hands and give, give yourself a standing down dog, now would be a good time. The rest of you guys, I'm going to bring you over to the wall. I'm going to do a wall stretch once at least. Them hips. There you go. Oh, I miss the sunlight shining from out there. Okay, you know the drill, guys. Take the wall, take the knee. Try not to be too close. Glip and heel at the back line. So I'm rocking forward a little bit, keep adjusting that front leg. So I'm not going to express on that knee. Walls balance if you wish. Let's go in usual, like we usually do, go in with the, the core first. So pull the tummy up and elevate the ribs. Right? Decompress it a little bit to the spine and with the heel dragging and posterior tilt at the same time. There's a stretch. Woo! So five seconds on and about five off. So you can really attack these, these tight areas with a little bit of effort. Do that about four times. I've done two now, so I'm starting on my third one. Heavy on the heel drag, so you feel a little bit of hamstrings on that front leg as well. But ultimately, it's all about keeping that back leg in full stretch. Right, last one. Tilt the pelvis up, elevate the ribs. Woo! Okay, let's switch that round. Do a little bit of a functional movement, warm up, and then we'll get cracking to the seven exercises. If we don't get through them, then so what? Oh, tight on the left there. I guess that's a clutch pedal, isn't it, on the left? So you've got that, yeah, maybe more, more time spent in deflection with this left leg. That makes sense. Whew. Okay, a couple more, guys. Keep that decompression, keep that active core, okay, that functional brace going on. So you feel pretty strict and pretty sturdy doing these releases. Last one. Oh, yeah. Feels good. I did the same last night, would you believe it or not? As soon as I got off the car, 
well, not on the gravel, but I was on in the house. I wouldn't advertise in being on gravel and exercising. It's not a good idea. Right. Let's get this, this baldy and red. Remember that? It's all this old thing. Oh, stop it. It's too bad. Okay. Split stance, right leg in front, left leg behind, soft bend in the right knee, the usual cues. I think red actually showed a little bit better for the moves. So soft bend in that front knee, right look at the angle of the thigh bone, being slightly off the ground. I'm not too joint stacked with that. Get those knees aligned, okay? Just gently entertain that heel drag with 80% effort pulling the right foot back, 20% push left foot. Let's come in with the deep core, the decompressive work, and let's just start a little bit of active. Thoracic rotation, keeping that heel drag, trying to keep the body from the hips below completely still. <laughs> so deep core now, brace the core so we start to move the arms a little bit quicker. Keep the heel drag, keep the body still. You see my hips rocking left and right there, I'm going to work out. Okay, switch legs. It's easily tough because of what we're doing. You get that decompression before you start blocking those arms around. 80% pulling the floor back with your left leg, 20% with the front. Start off slow, keep the body still, keep your deep core, transverse out, and then slowly let that develop. Upper chamber moving, lower chamber static as best you can. Oh, let's do that a little bit moving forward. So you've got room to take two steps forward, we're going to go with that. Start with one leg in front, there's a leg sweep, so go one, two, and then back for two. So entertaining a little bit of a heel drag as the foot steps forward and steps back. Whichever leg is your leading leg, just keep that floor pulling back. Nail the hips, nail the core. Trying to open up that thoracic rotation. So moving forward with two. There's a little bit of a sticking point there, your foot step there. So minimizing any anterior shifting of the pelvis. Always swinging all down to the lead leg. Couple more. Keep the core tight, one more. Keep that core, keep that core. Okay, tell you what, let's get down to business, right? So we have 35 minutes, and we'll start off with a light kettlebell or dumbbell. I'm just gonna go with a tear 10 with this. Although it doesn't match the red, does it? I would love to go with the red 15, but We've got quite a bit to get through. So as promised at the start, we're going to do like a Turkish get up. I'm going to bring it down to the floor. And I'll try my best to explain this to you guys and, and try to position the TV where you, can, where you can see it and you don't have to be twisting your head to look, right? Because the head position ideally should be eyes and the eyes and grow, right? So I don't necessarily want you looking up at the weight too much, okay? A little bit just to check that out if it's vertical, but generally watch we don't get the neck straight by until we head back. Okay, so we'll start on the right side, so straight into this now. We'll do the first one, kind of talk through it, and then we'll get the whole thing going. So we going to go to your, to your um, kettlebell on your right hand, legs bent, and okay, bring the kettlebell down. Now, tilt your body, I'll show you from the front, tilt your body across to the right, like that. Like a little ball curled up, okay? So it's like a fetal position to start. Okay, from there, we're going to open this up. So let's we'll start to recall what how we work this. we kind of roll yourself onto your back. Keep your right leg bent, extend your left leg out to the side and extend your right arm. Okay, the right arm stays up to you know the drill. Right, keeping that right arm as it is, like you're holding a glass of water in the bottom end of the glass, take a little bit of a lean to your left. Yeah, bring yourself up to so your rest of your left elbow, trying to move the arm back at this point, although it'll feel wide. Okay, maybe adjust the hips and I'm going to push and bring my hand, uh, hand to the floor. Keep that right leg bent. Lift the hips up and just hold in that position for a little bit. So if you look at a nice long line from your right hand straight down to your left, like a nice corner going through that. Okay, fold the left leg, tuck it through there. Now this is a trick now, don't move from here, just sit your left glute onto your left heel. There, okay? Now I'm going to use deep core to bring myself body upright and I'm just going to adjust myself so I'm So we're in that kind of functional balance, deep lunge here. Tummy brace, up we come. Take a step forward with the left leg. Okay, this is a halfway point. We're just on automatically just rewind all that. So taking the right foot back, short step, FP lunge, sit on the right glute, lean across to the left, pause there. Get a nice hold line. Kick the left leg out, boom, pause. Okay, this is a trick now. Right glute slides towards your right heel. 
Pause there. Bring the left elbow down. Pause. Don't move the arm. Kick the left leg out a little bit wider and then articulate yourself with control. Back down to the start. Okay, we're there. Let's try that again. So, feel position. Rock it up. Roll up from there. Kick the left leg out. Left arm out. Pause. Keep the right side in its parallel. Lean to the left. Elbow to hand. Pause. Don't move the hand. Move you. All the hand. Adjust the legs. Keep that length, keep that deep cut. Slide the left leg through, sit on the left heel, come up right, readjust. Quite a confined position now, keep the right arm up and come up. Woo, nice. Step it back, gently down. Boom, lean, kick out, pause there. Again, check that whole line, move from right to left hand. Slide your body forward to your right again, heel, come towards your right glute. Down with the left elbow, pause. Deep breath in, exhale, move in, uh, in, in the direction your left leg is, uh, is rolled out. And we do two more, so four on each side. In fact, pause, if you've got a heavier option and you want to go heavier, let's go with that. My reasoning for me grabbing a red is just simply was a fashion four part with the yellow kettlebell. Purely that tip. That's my size. Okay, ready for this? Slow and steady, eyes on the horizon now. Cross the left. Elbow to hand, don't move your hand. Keep those eyes on the horizon. Level it out. Fold the left leg through. Sit towards your left heel. Roll up, center, pause, adjust. Come up. <sighs> Reverse up. FP lunge. Bum to heel, hand. Kick the leg out. Get that nice whole arms. Bum to heel. <sighs> Elbow pause. Kick the left leg out. And move in that direction. Your left leg is pointing at. Oi. One more. Feel position again. Roll it up, maybe a little bit more fluent with this. Elbow, hand, lift, kick the leg through, sit your heel towards the bum, upright, readjust, stand. Step it back, bum to heel a touch, a little bit of a lean there, kick the left leg out, pause, bum to heel, elbow, kick the left leg out, articulate with breath out and roll down. Woo! There you go. Just a little matter of four on the other side now, okay? So we'll do the same on the other side. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I propose we, we go slow and steady and really feel those little details of the move. It kind of ticks all the boxes for me, that one. I've probably said that to some of you several times, but kind of, yeah, good calorie burner. It's mobility, strength, yeah, ticks a lot of boxes. Okay, left side. So get comfortable. Double hold on the kettlebell, tilt to your left. Pause there, kind of tuck yourself in a little bit. It's as comfortable as it gets, okay? It's the same as before. Cross to your right this time. Pause. Keep the right leg out. Extend the left arm. Right. Let's not get out of ourselves with this one. So a little lean across to your right. Try not to let the right shoulder depress. Come to the hand. Over. Just pause there, then move before. Nice straight line running through. This time the right foot falls through. Sit to the right. Keep that left arm overhead. Readjust, up we come. Okay, good. Rewind that. Short step, sink. Right bum, right heel, lean across the right, pause there with the right hand down. Keep the left, right leg out. Boom, we're all in position. Come to heel, pause, elbow, kick the right leg out again and move and articulate. Kind of diagonal angle down. Okay, and again, just three more. Feel position, I keep forgetting. And I feel position. Let's rock it up, cross to the left, right leg goes out, right arm up, elbow to hand, pause, hips up, readjust, readjust as much as this as you need going along, keep that left arm straight as you come up from the left heel, then step it back, coming down on that left heel, and kick, up to heel, keep the left arm vertical, elbow no sliding of the arm and articulate down, okay. Same as before, if you've got a little bit heavier and you can manage that, totally cool. If I'm being brutally honest, if I was to really work myself, I'd probably have a 35 pound weight in my hand. But you know what, when you teach it on the line, you don't want to, you don't want to show off now, do you? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you try that with a 35 pound weight. Okay, put your position, left it up, right goes long, pause, elbow, hand, get over the hand. Okay, adjust, make all those little adjustments. Right leg falls through, right foot to heel, realign, keep it tight, cause to come up. 
Let's rewind that again. In ultimate rep. Enjoy these little bits. You can take those pauses and just check the line and just keep it all uh, tight and precise. Ugh. Okay, guys, one more. Roll it. Press it, pause. Let's do his best technical rep. We're going to go for this last one. I love this lunge bit from the ground up with that left arm straight. Uh, there's a five, there's a three. And rewind it. There we go. First one done. Just another six to go. Okay. Should be feeling a little, a little bit of puff there from the heart rate being up. Okay. And another one, as I said at the start, we're going to work maybe two dumbbells. And I'm going to, I want to do a couple of sets of this, okay? We've got a pendulum swap. So if you're just stuck there with a one weight, you're just going to have to alternate it each time at the top, okay? I want to be really mindful tonight, Miss, because I know I've coached this with you for, for some time. And watch as, as we come up, or down for that matter, watch the jerkiness, okay? Yeah? Just be careful of that. So we'll just try a set first without any weight. So let's get into our best standing posture. And just try a few without the arms swinging. So let's send the hips back a little bit, bend at the knees. Okay, we're going to be working from about that position, okay? So it's not a deep squat. Hips definitely come back. Maybe you're going to have the weight over here at that time. Yeah, and slow more the abs are going to start. Coming deep. You're going to push your heels into the ground. Arms are going to meet about here, maybe a little bit higher if you wish. Okay, arm swing. Almost be patient with the drop. Weight to lose weight is swinging you back into that hip flexion. Yeah? And then the arm's going to start to swing. So this is me slow on pushing my heels into the floor. Full leg extension. Arms coming up. Just be mindful at that point, guys. That we're not going to get down to you. Sure. So little by little. Go a little bit quicker. Want to knees coming forward. Cameras are good for that. And then we get the real work going. So you want to feel like there's like a wave. It's like a wave running up through that body. we we'll get the timing right. It's all about keeping that tension, keeping that 10 second T through the move to keep the muscles at constant pull and kind of in contraction mode. Right, let's get on with this. So, double weight or single if you have it. I don't know how many reps I'm going to do with this, but we're just going to start feeling like my form has gone. So, we're going to start with just the arm swing first. Same as before, deep core. Yeah, and bit by bit, allowing the hips just to start to sink. <laughs> I like the idea of the inhale on the sit back, the exhale on the stands. Heavy on the heels, right as you exhale, right? It's all about hip extension there to get the weights to move. Allow the weights to start moving first, and then drive those heels into the floor. Yeah? Feel the glutes working there. Uh, deep cough. That way, it's to do with the timing. Uh, hips uh, straight to the top. A couple more. And that feels pretty awesome. Using two 15s. That's probably about what I'd like to work on if I even ever wasn't doing that online. I think two 15s feel about right. 20s, yeah, could be an option, but no, I think it's a little bit too heavy through the swinging, lots of pulling the joints. Okay, take a little drink, Ray. Just a wee one. And over the months, we've done these with jumps, we've done these with like a rotation step and all that. We keep it straightforward for the first part at least. Okay, that second set, let's do this. But before you start the way to swing, let's get that posture. Super strong in the middle, everything's tension, everything's lifting, just out of the weight. Be patient. Doing that build up. Deep core again, keep the transverse abdominals switched on. So, really feel oh, your feet, heels, it's driving your legs to full extension, it's literally keeping the momentum. Oh. And if you can stop after about 10 of them, 
feel pretty beat up. You've got good work in your hands, okay? If you're just constantly swinging and swinging, taking them so long to you feel the work, as always, yeah, you're going to need a bigger weight on two of them. Okay, single arm snatch. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's a new one for you. Um, I should have mentioned at the start. Maybe go armchair or chair or something you can raise your leg to about 90 degrees and tap your foot on it. If you don't have that, then I guess you should have to imagine you do that. So, even better, if you have a plyometric box like this at home, that's even better. Yeah, so if you want to go and rub and grab your plyo box from the kitchen, perfect. Okay, so I'm always talking about the, the control actual reciprocation when we're working. A lot of my work is, is based on weight, as you're probably aware now. Um, so this one is really useful for that. It's kind of a, a mixture of a few things we've done. So if you want to just face the chair first, and we'll just do a few single leg taps. So we're to keep one hand in it. Full hip extension, okay, big straight line there, active glutes, and then just very gently, let's raise up. One foot, just with a little tap with that stretch in it. For me, that, that tap that's going to be tough. So I've got hip flexor on my lifting leg, I've got hip extension in, in, in constant Ooh, lift there. As usual, minimize or eradicate any hip shifting. So stand nice and tall on that standing leg with a soft bend of the knee. Yeah, you can be straight, but once it's not locked out, just keep the back line tight. Okay, switch to the side. So just some specificity on the wall. And what happens is you lift your left leg, sir. You notice that your right arm wants to go. Yay! Because you're going to have a kettlebell in it. And you're going to snap that kettlebell up as the foot touches. So I've got full extension on my right side there as best I can. Hip flexion on the left. Weight's going to come down. You're going to bring it up. So it's going to be your traditional snatch. So we're going to be standing in that. So let's say that the camera is where the, where the chair is. You're going to be coming up with the snatch. As that's coming up, the opposite leg. Is going to tap back down, yeah? Lift, touch, pause, bring it down. Can we try that? I'm going to try with a red because again, it just it looks cool. Red, yeah. Right, it's got the weight. And I was standing with it just off center here, trying to go right down the middle. So you're going to clean, you're going to snatch that weight up like that, yeah? And our rolls on that wrist. If you've got the dumbbell, then obviously just bring the elbow up and then like a hinge, you can flick the arm up, okay? So just see what it feels like snatching on both feet. I'm going to hold in my right. My left leg is going to tap as I hit that apex on that snatch. So are we ready for this? Let's give it a go. So deep core, lift, little tap, pause, gently down with the arm, eccentric loaded, and then bring the leg down, then release the weight. And again, oh yeah, our timing's right. That foot just touches that chair or that whatever you've got in front of the weight hits that apex. Uh, you have to slow that down to see how precise that is. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> They're getting bald in red. Oh, a little bit slow down there. Uh, keep the deep core going. Snatch it up. Boom. Little tap. Feel that nice stretch down that superficial line, down the outside, on that side you're lifting from. A uh, couple more. Again, use a weight that's going to challenge about eight reps, right? Nice. Really opens up that lateral line. Okay. A little practice on the other side, so maybe just try with some. Because I'm not as comfortable or confident on my left side. And as you bring that weight up, try and minimize the flexion. Just try and keep your body nice and still, strong in the middle. Let's try that. So, on the right foot tap, left arm clean, uh, snatch. Down, off, return. How are we doing over there with this? Not broken a one of your light check. Oh, in fact, that, that that's the table I'm working from is about right. I feel myself spinning my hips forward as I bring the snatch up. So we extra my core to begin with. It's better. It doesn't get easy, guys. It gets a little bit harder. So you have to tap in. With your four. <sighs> Woo! I reckon one more on this side. 
Right, little breather. I want you to repeat that because I think sometimes you get good at doing one set of something. We just start to learn it and then we move on. So I'm going to call it. I'm actually going to go heavier myself with this. Okay. So, right snatch, left foot tap. So if you've got a heavier option, go for it. I'm going to do less, obviously. Yeah, we focus on that foot. Eyes on the horizon. You can bring that left arm back as well a little bit. Uh, whew. Good thought. Don't go in. Okay, one more for me. If you want to fill in the blanks, go for it. But don't rush through. I just sense myself leaning back a little bit when I get the kettlebell about halfway. Have you got anything left? Do it now. Okay, let's rattle right on with this other side. So the right foot's going to tap. Left arm is going to go straight up like a, like a bullet from a gun. Here we go. Deep core to start. Channel in with that foot lift. Yeah, a little harder on my left foot this way. Oh, still hitting them lines, all right? Getting them long lines down one side. Oh, watch the shift in four, guys. The hip shift. Your spine will take the compression. They stay neutral. Your core does. Difference. Okay, one more for me. Woo. Okay, again, we got anything extra, now it's time. But I'm just going to move my player box out of the way. Right. Okay, going to go a bit old school. Uh, Renegade rows. So two weights, and again, if you've got them, if you haven't, I have a plan. You can just do one row and then switch sides, okay? I like the idea of kettlebells because it keeps my wrists in neutral. However, with that said, these, these kettlebells, as you know, come in studio, they're really kind of flat at the bottom. So some of them are vinyl core, they'll be a little bit rocky, so maybe go and try it with that. As a suggestion, instead, if, you had, if, you had, if you're using a kettlebell for that man, hold it like that. Right, so your hands off the floor, you're on the kettlebell still, and you can still administer that hold with the rotation. Difference being, we're not going to do this in the knees, okay? We're going to go full. So to alternate row, yeah, left and right, keeping that long line, okay, parallel with the floor as best you can. Okay, so again, kettlebells, dumbbells are fine, you need two weights if you've only got one, do one row, roll it across to the side and switch. And then set up this plank first. I reckon I'm only going to do this once because I want to get through a few more exercises. So let's set up a long back. It's quite a close grip, okay? It's like a, a, a triangle formation. So bring the grip quite close to the hands. I'd probably say about two kettlebells width apart. Get that long spine. This will be funny if I break my wrist trying to do this on the belt. Long stance with your feet to get it quite wide. Okay, watch the thoracic flexion. So try and go a little bit of extension. I'll get a single arm pull, a little bit of rotation. Journey back down, pause. Second arm, pull, rotate, gently back down, pause, and all the way through this, guys, your mid back will go around, okay? Be mindful of keeping that thoracic extension. Pull, rotate. If you want, get to here. If you're feeling up for it, and a push, whoop, row, or failing that, just alternate the rows. But like I said, we're going to do this once. Thoracic uh, extension here. No shoulder blades can be crunching together. Shh. Old school, but an absolute monster of an exercise. Ah. I reckon one more exercise for me because I've had these push ups in. Nailed the kneeling plank for so long now, it has its purpose. It's nice to come full. An exercise like that, wow, that was tough for the kettlebells. But like I said, flat edges, serve, serve your wrist a little bit there. Okay, let's bring that kettlebell to a swinging move. 
So, if you will, take your kettlebell or your dumbbell and go rack up. Whew. That's tough on the full body, that one, last one, isn't it? Right. So just a few swinging movements in your bilateral stance to begin with, team. So let's open it up. Standing posture, rack hold. Just keep it simple, back to the rack. Try and get those hips to open up as we come back up to vertical. And add just a little row on the back of the wrist as it comes back up. Open up the grip, helps to get a little turn. Like that, pop it through. Thumb to bum here. Kind of a, a loose left arm. I can almost bring that round initially first before I throw the weight. So a little bit of this first, which will bring a little bit of that funkier B flavor here. Back up. Couple more. In case it's left. See how steady it feels going back to that rack. Deep cough, always. Almost allowing those hamstrings to kind of separate a little bit as it goes through the legs, keep the neutrals you come back. Okay, the exercise in itself, it's not that. <laughs> it's better than that. It's a lot better than that, man. Okay, split stance, left leg in front, right leg behind. So we're going to do the swing from here as it comes up. You're not going to clean it, uh, sorry, in bracket, you're going to pull it. So it looks like this. You've done this with me before, just let me run through it. I've got, I've got my little hinge there, so notice how my hip comes back. Oh, my shin stays vertical here. So that's the first bit. As you come up, you're going to pull and punch. You can go rack actually, as long as you pull that kettlebell back in. You're going to step back with the right leg, swing. So option one is there, option two with the rack hold. Yeah. And get a bit of momentum with this. Right foot step pull. Right foot step pull. Yeah, keep it going. So like the pendulum squat on that front leg here, put one leg nice and light on the back toes. I just wish you had abandoned your left hand, imagine that, to be pushing some resistance away on that left side. Couple more. Again, another one we could do a couple of sets for. I think we're probably going to run out of time, so we've got a couple more. Okay, here we go, left side. Right leg in front. Okay, maybe just try a few swings first here. I like the idea of just allowing that right glute to feel something before we actually start with the move. And then. <coughs> yeah, that glute's really kicking in now. <coughs> and no anterior shift in here. Once you get that step ball there, but then once that's your ball, tight in the middle. Like I said at the start, keep it air tight and quality, cross the jerkiness, and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable now. Okay, have a little breather. Got arguably the toughest, toughest one tonight coming up. So I said at the start, we're going to do some like lunge jumps. Um, I'm going to practice it without the weight. And then we're going to go with the weight and we're going to push it straight away. So it's going to be a press, not a snatch of that weight up, okay? So have the weight nearby. Let's just dial in a few reps first, just get full understanding and, and just appreciate how bloody hard it is. I reckon six each side, but we might double that up, but not a lot of reps. Right, we start from the ground up, guys. So I'll right in front and let's gently come in that lunge position, which feels so nice. When you're down here, you're not working it from there though. So if you can get to the point where you're sitting on your left heel, okay? Don't worry if you can't, it needs a lot of flexion that front and that left needs to get that. Okay, from there, drop up a touch, cross the vertical shin, come up, and just jump it down, pause, sit, drop forward, come up, okay? So the difference between that and what we're doing, we're actually going to come up, which is the concentric phase of the rep. Yeah, when muscles are uh, sharp and under tension, we're going to come up quick. And you're going to switch the stance from right leg in front to left leg in front as soon as you're at the top. So it looks like this. There. Yeah? Then we're going to step back or adjust. Down again, slow. Ready? Switch stance. In fact, we switch the stance back. 
lower it down. So try it one more time. How quick can we come up with that? We'll drive off that from here. Straight up there, quick stance, lower. We're going to do that with a weight going overhead. So we'll warm up the left side in a minute. Let's get straight to this now. So weight, dumbbell or kettlebell on your right hand, right leg in front, sink it down. Okay, ready for this? You're going to jump up, switch the stance, press the weight out at the same time. Three, two, one, there. Jump back, bring the weight down, lower it down. Three, two, one, there. Jump back, control down. Now let's have some rotation as you come down, rotate right. As you come up, rotate left. There. Yeah? Switch it back. Sink, spiral right, spiral right with the ribs. Jump up, go left. There. I like the step back. Roll it back. Control. Two more. Up like a flex. Back. Jump it back, bring the weight down. One more on that right side. Off the right heel. Boom. Control down. Okay, a little breathing. We'll do the same on the left. And like always, appreciate that. Trying to keep everything in its alignment. Okay, the hips, the knees, the ankles. Oh, it's a toughie. Maybe you could have done a lot more than me there. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna chill out and have your tea after this, I don't know. Okay, let's practice that left side without the weight. Move down. And just have a little sit back on that right heel for a moment. Feels like on this left side. Okay, come off the heel. Let's just, let's just do a few up and down first. So two of these, sit back. And we can already get a little bit of rotation for you this. Okay, ready for this? So do two practices without the weight. Here we go from here. Quick switch, switch back, lower down. Spiral it left through the ribs as we come down right as we come up. There's the arm, so the arm's the rib. Switch, down. Ready? Six reps, or thereabouts. Nice 15 for me here. Keep the baldy and red theme going on. Okay, a little rock round. Down, two, three, four, five. Come up, lightning. Jump back, down, that's two, four more. Deep core, guys. Make these four feel like 40. Don't give in in the middle. Hold it out, hold it out. Jelly legs, keep it alignment, keep it alignment, keep it alignment. Spiral, keep the deep call. Oh, how's this? Six feels like it. 16. Okay, last one. We're going to bring this to the wall. So I'm just moving the shoe rack. Okay. He's still there. He's still there. That's the wall. You don't need an orange wall for this, but. We do. When we work with bands in house, we have the, the band person swinging, if you will, and then we have one holding. Right? We're just going to optimize ourselves on the holding part. So, if you've got a wall and you stand, if your arms are like this, yeah, I want you to position yourself so the wall is adjacent to the arm. Right, so if I go like that, if I try and stand completely side under the wall, I can only really push with my elbow. If I slowly start to turn myself towards the wall, are we there? I'm kind of about a 45 angle. Okay, from the knee split stance, and then very gently, keeping your body as still as possible, just try and push and rotate yourself kind of like right into the wall. Okay, it's isometric, there's no movement on that wall unless your wall's really weak. <laughs> Built by cowboys and just start to hold position and start to kind of have a bit of rotation coming in the wall. Rather than pushing the wall like this, I might try to push it like that with spirals, with rotation. Please make fine adjustments if that doesn't sit right for you and you can find a better position. You know, maybe this could be better for you pushing with the elbow. I just feel like I personally get a lot more uh, weight under that. Almost like I'm pulling the arm back to me fractionally as I'm pushing it into the wall. Make the little adjustment. I want you to feel your obliques, in particular your external obliques at the sides, the deep ones, are going to start to switch on. 
So maybe they can turn that for a few seconds and then ease off. So it is one of them. The more work you put in, the more you're going to get out of it and you're going to get back in your neutral spine. Get that little bit of a heel drag going on. But keep that deep core. And you can actually feel the side closest to the wall. You keep one arm pressing, bring you to the side. Can you feel the deep core? Can you feel the obliques working? Or maybe the weekend was just that much too good that you can't get in there. Let's try the other side to finish and wrap this up. And wipe the sweat off my brow and see some people like so the side. Then keep the arms in that kind of like that house shape, if you will, um, to the wall. Relax your shoulders a bit, which I didn't mention at the start. And try and keep everything in its place as you push into the wall. <clears throat> a job well done, guys. We've got through everything. If you've got anything left to add on to that, feel free. Okay, one more time. At least five seconds on that. Press. Just an alternative to going to the elbow plank. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. As much as I've been teaching it. And I'll learn, I'll see you all soon.